my clients are asking for bright and colorful manicures just now. So I have this set of six neon gels from Born Pretty that I'm going to swatch and then I'll do a fun design. The first one I have is this green, it's MC01. The first thing I noticed when I started painting it onto the nail is that it's a bit translucent. I guess you could use it as a jelly gel, um, but if you wanted full coverage on this, you're going to have to do a few layers. The next one is orange and that's MC03. This one is quite similar to the green in that it's a bit translucent, but not so much as the green, um, but definitely you're going to need a few layers of that as well. The next one is actually a yellow, it's MC02. It looks really green on this video, but genuinely it is yellow. And it's the first one actually that is kind of a creamy consistency. So it's covering a lot better than the first two that I showed you. You can see here the difference um, in coverage. The next one is blue and that is MC05. I don't know why I didn't do them in order. I was probably just a bit excited. This one is also really creamy and covers fairly well. It's almost as though as I go down the line, they get creamier and um, better in coverage. The purple one isn't actually very neon. It's MC06. I don't think it belongs with this set, but it is a lovely color. I have it in another brand and it's always been very popular. The last one that I have is a bright pink, and that's MC04. I thought this was red when I first started working because I didn't have my light on, um, but it's actually bright pink and it covers beautifully. It's really, really creamy. Um, out of all of them, I think this one is my favorite. So I'm going to put those into Cure and then I'll go ahead and do a second layer on them. They look super bright in the light. Here they are, you can see how the consistency of them is different as you go along. I was most interested to see the second layer of the green and the orange, and it did cover, but not perfectly. So if you did want full coverage, you'd either have to put it over a white or do three or four layers. The other four, as you can see here, were absolutely fine. On the top is one layer and on the bottom is two layers so that you can see the difference. So I'll put those in the light. I do want to see what the green and the orange look like over a white base because sometimes that helps when you're using neon colors. So I did one layer and cured it and then did another layer and actually it does help to have it over a white base coat. You can see here it's brighter and just looks more uniform in color. For the design, I want to do like a splash across all of the nails. So I'm starting out with purple and I'm going to go like purple into pink and then um, orange into yellow and green into blue. I wish I had started with the green because the thumbnail was green and that would have been cool to have like it go from full cover green to yellow and whatever, but I didn't because I don't know. I just didn't. But anyways, this is what I'm doing. I'm just painting a random splash like picture on the nail and blending the two colors together with my detail brush here. This detail brush is from Little Luxuries and I absolutely love it. I'm putting a little bit of splodges around the edges. I've never done this design before so I didn't, I was just kind of winging it. But I really like the effect so I carried on with the other colors. see that the colors blend beautifully together. I didn't struggle to create um, that ombre effect between the two. Even when I use the, the creamy ones versus the transparent ones like I am here, it was no issue to get them to ombre. 
just adding some final splodges. So you could finish the design and leave it like this if you wanted and just apply a layer of top coat. But I really wanted to do like a, a raised effect. So I'm going to use some builder gel. You could use top coat for this, but it, you'd have to cure it um, every line you put on so that they didn't bleed together because top coat doesn't sit as high as builder gel. So I'm just going on and laying down little lines. The first time I did it, I did do just, um, I covered the whole painted section in one layer of builder gel and it didn't look as good. It was too uniform, but if you do it in several little splodges like I have here, then it looks better. When I put the top coat on, I just scrape all the top coat, well, not all of it, but most of it off of the design part so that it leaves a raised textured effect. So I'm just gonna continue to do that on the other nails. Now I've done the first one, I kind of have a good idea of what I'm doing, so it's a bit quicker now. I'm just going through and laying down that builder gel on parts of the painted design. And then I'll go ahead and top coat as well as scraping the top coat off of the textured part so that the texture remains. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'm just going to continue on with these nails, what I did with the pink and purple ombre one. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this design. If you decide to do this, I'd love for you to tag me on your social media. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like content like this, and I will see you guys again very shortly in another nail video. Bye for now.